Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if, else, if, and conditional logic number four. Debug conditionals. Help! I was trying to give the player a hint when their guess was within two of the secret number, but the code I wrote isn't working. Can you fix it? I'm sure we can together. This picture shows what the message should be based on the difference between the secret number and the player's guess. If you get zero, you win. Minus two, guess higher but close. Plus two, guess lower but close. And then anything past that, guess high, guess low. We're gonna run the code to identify when the program is not working correctly. Try guessing number one through six. Fix the problem with the order of the conditionals. I think that's a big hint right there. The major problem here is that the conditional statements run in order from top to bottom. Remember, you have to check the smallest and most narrow case first and work your way up from there. The conditions might be slightly non-intuitive at first glance. Intuitive just is a fancy word thinking it's not user friendly. If you want to rearrange the conditions, it might be easier if you switch to text mode. We have a little logic chart here, but I think we can figure it out without it. Let's take a look at our code. We have two variables up here and they are outside the events and it looks like they are called within there. This to me would be a global variable, meaning it affects things outside of the event it's in. On the event, pick number is changed this is pick number right here. So when somebody changes something, it's going to store their guess right there. How do they do that? This is a variable guess. It is getting the text from pick number. If guess equals my number, set text user message. This is user message right here to you win. Else if guess is greater than your number plus two, guess lower. Else, if your guess is less than my number, user message is guess, higher but close. Third one is else, guess is greater than a number, guess lower but close. And the final one is guess, if that number is less than your number minus two, the text is gonna say guess higher. Hmm. What this problem really is here is a logic flowchart problem. So we're working from our narrow on the way down to see it. Sounds pretty interesting. Hmm. What are we going to do? Well, I think what I want to do here real quick first is just give myself a little space to look at this. My first statement here says, guess the number is equal to. Honestly, this can be the last condition because it honestly should go through all of the conditions before it gets to the number. So the number here really should be my last one. So I'm gonna move this down here to my last one. Before we do that, let's just copy this one right here. This is going to be the guess is minus two. So I'm going to go here, delete that. I'm going to move this down here. We are not going to need so many brackets on this one. And then we got to deal with our first one. What is our first one? Well, it's one of the most narrow ones. And that one is gonna tell the user if they're plus or minus two. So that bottom statement I just deleted, that should probably be my first condition to check. Is the guess less than their number minus two there? Then you display that message. That means if I'm doing minus two here, you should also do plus two here. So the first two conditions we're gonna check for is whether the number is the closest to it. After that, then we can also do 
are less than or greater than just our regular number, finishing up. That's close. Ooh, I need some brackets here. That's close. I still have to set my messages here. You win is actually down here. You win. That only gets displayed when it's equal to. The minus two here is guess lower, but or guess lower but close. Guess lower but close! Exclamation point. We can take care of that one now since we got rid of that. This one, if the guess is greater than, that's going to be guess higher. This one right here, if the guess is lower, is going to be a guess lower. And by the process of default, this one is going to say guess higher, but close. This to me sounds like it makes sense. The number in this case is going to be six. So let's check it against the number six. Let's hit run. I'm gonna go down here. Let's do the easy one. If it hits six, you win. Let's go lower. Five, guess lower. Mm. Let's guess higher. Seven, guess higher. This one right here says guess higher but close. So if I took that though, and I have a spelling error on this one. If I took this one though, this one really should display when we are closer. So when the my number plus two, so six, seven, so that should be seven, eight. I guess that is nine, that one is correct. Let's reset run so we have the right spelling there. So same thing. So it should say five, four, three should say guess lower but close. Four, just guess lower. Looks like it's working pretty well. Try guessing a number. Let's try a different number here. Let's do three. Let's see if our program still works the same. So run three, you win. This one would be five, guess higher. Six, we're getting close. One, guess lower. Can't really guess lower than one. Ooh, we have an error up here. Looks like I deleted my semicolon by accident. Let's try this again. Three, you win. Two, guess lower. That really shouldn't be guess lower. Guess one, guess lower. It looks like I have these flip-flopped here. This should be guess higher, and this should be a guess lower. Reset run. Two, guess higher. Now we go to three, four, guess lower. Should be three, we win. Uh, five, six will give us our guess higher but close because our number is three, four, five, so that gives us six. Looks like it works pretty good. I don't think we need to do anything else here. We ran the code to identify when the program was not correctly. We guessed some numbers between one and six, and we fixed the problem with the order of the conditionals. Everything seems to be working good. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.